now it's not how to use the use the drive off. Right. I'm not sure if I was making it. If he's if he's bending his elbow back, you start using that leg behind his elbow to graze it or graze the shoulder back into his neck. Because he, when he does that, he's going to stay square. It's going to be hard, slightly hard if you get the angle. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do, we'll, we'll do this like it's a little. So, so if, you, if you feel that he's doing that, you just basically, you, you, could, you really want to graze the, you don't want this space. You just, so you don't want this space. So he's in the, yeah, he's in the position, right? We're getting the trail and he's, Pulling this elbow back, yeah, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So this is where I'm going to raise that cross. Yeah. So you can bring your hips into it as well. Yeah, it's it's an abductor. This is why I'm a big fan of all these time static contractions. One, you don't get injured. You don't you, you don't need to go to a, a gym and, and wait for fucking people to do their Instagram pictures and all that other shit. But the other thing with this is, is most of what we do is is like a time static contraction. It's like 30 seconds of squeeze. They get his hip. Basically, this is his, at the moment, until he gets this back and locked, this is his rear deltoid. If he gets his elbow all the way back, you can lock his lap, right? Uh, you want to put it to your body, really. Yeah, to your hip. So if he gets that back, it's gone, right? But what it really is to begin with, while he's trying to do this, and he wants to try and flex his, you know, trap and get his lat into this. But like, if I can graze that once I've got that there, it's like, this is done now. And now I can pull him in, lock this up, and start getting my angle and finish him really however I want. It's, it's, it's pretty much done by then. Yeah. It feels like the hip's coming up as well. So I don't know if that's just a natural consequence of pulling the, the knee back. Yeah. Or do you actually essentially raise the hip as well? Or? You know, so, so when you lift the hip, it, puts, it also puts weight on mm. as well. It puts weight on you, mm. so you're now carrying my weight. Yeah, yeah. Which is the essence of it. You know, most of what we do here, which is gives us a great deal to pretty much every other card that I see, and it's, it's very different from what you know Hickson talks about. This you get it in wrestling cards, but you don't get it in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu cards. It's keeping your knees off the mat, mm. and that's really what we're doing there. We're, we're lifting as much of our body off of the mat as we can, because he has to then carry it. Whereas if I lay my hips flat on the ground, I really don't have much. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do, uh, we're going to do two minutes, because I find this is very intense. We're going to do two minutes of literally of, of sparring in isolation. So he's going to start in this position, and he doesn't start defending until my, my uh, until the back of my knee touches his neck. Right, and then from, and we're not going crazy, but we are trying to resist, he's trying to get out. Yeah, so it would be like, you know, so now he's going to start with this. Yeah. And if it's too uh, right, he gets out the first time, then I would say, like, his job is to slow it down. His job isn't to get out every fucking time because the earlier he goes, the better it is for him. Um, so, like, the next time he's going to give me a little bit more. Yeah, go now. Yeah, he's just give me a little bit more. That's what I want him to try and do. I'm going to work from there and, and try, you know, I'm going to try and get the triangle and he's going to resist. And, yeah, if, you, if, you, if he's never getting the triangle, like we're going to go for two minutes of one side just doing this. You want to almost expect to get some, you, you want him to, to, to be able to do it, right? And you can you can start, you don't want to just get the whole thing of like, I'm a champion for two minutes, I've stopped him fucking doing it, right? So it just generally means you went, you went early and you went hard while they're trying to figure something out. So you, you, you're, you're trying to get a reasonable level of resistance for them. You don't want them to win every time, but you don't want to fail in two minutes, yeah? So let's give it a go and I'll tell you when to change over. Yep. 